All right, I wanna be honest with you. And for some of the videos, I was a little bit fuzzy about uh, the storage classes because um, I guess I wasn't 100% aware of what was going on, but now I 100% understand it. And I wanna make sure that you understand it too. And that's why I have this additional slide here. And what we wanna do is compare S3 Glacier Vault with S3 Glacier storage classes. So S3 Glacier, and I remember this when it first came out, but I, I could have swore it was just called Glacier. And then they added the S3 in front of it to make you think that it's part of the S3 service. It's not, it's a standalone service um, from S3 and it uses vaults instead of buckets, okay? Uh, it's the original vault service or archiving service for long-term objects. It has these things called vault policies. Uh, everything usually is done through the AWS CLI. There's not a lot you can do through the console. Uh, and enterprises are still using Glacier Vault probably because they have data that's sitting in there for seven years. So the service isn't going any uh, anywhere away. There is a subservice called Glacier Deep Archive. This is also part of S3 Glacier Vault. So um, just understand that there's a thing on the vault side. I really think they should call the service Glacier Vault so there's and drop the S3 so it's less confusing, but whatever, they call it S3 Glacier and they don't put the word vault in there. So what happened was AWS decided, hey, people wanna be able to archive stuff, but, let, but they find it really hard to use Glacier Vault. So they introduced a new um, storage class called S3 Glacier Instant. This has nothing to do with S3 Glacier Vault. It's entirely new class, new technology. Uh, it allows you to instantly retrieve things from archival storage. Then there are two similar looking classes, which is S3 Glacier Flexible and S3 Glacier Deep Archive. These things literally map up to uh, S3 Glacier Vault up here. And this one maps to Deep Archive. They are using, from what I understand, the APIs to, uh, to have vaults. So maybe AWS is managing a vault for you and they're just not telling you. Uh, but as far as I understand, it's a combination of the S3 API and the S3 Glacier Vault API. Um, and when you work with these two classes, these ones are different from this one. Uh, this one will use the same stuff like determining the retrieval time. So you can choose between standard expedited, expedited or bulk. Uh, Deep Archive just has um, standard and uh, bulk, but uh, you're gonna find similarities there. And just understand that these two ones are unique. This one is uh, brand new and uh, it is confusing. But the great thing about these S3 Glacier storage classes is that everything happens within S3. So it's as easy as changing other storage classes for the most part, um, but we'll cover that in more detail about um, uh, in our archival section, like how to actually retrieve objects, okay?